on people daniel here from the ak mindset bringing you a discussion on the legend of Korra. uh just finished re-watching this series with my guy perry and i thought we'd get together and have a good discussion about this series so i want to say hello to the people perry hey how's everyone doing it's perry you know they only let me come on once a year but this is my one year anniversary well hey man it's, it's not like that but you know if you know about perry he was i'd say kindly reminding us about diamond and ace so he's a very good supporter of the podcast always pushing us to do better so it's only right to bring him on as we discuss a great cartoon series the main character cora this uh oh. this one is i don't know it's just like anything you wanna we can just go anywhere really so i'm uh i'm gonna let you take this one first all right Cora, Cora, Cora. I, I, I prefer Cora over Aang. And then the reason why I do this is because, like, I prefer Cora arch- archetype of character than I do of Aang archetype of characters. Mm-hmm. And then the reason why I like Cora is because she's flawed a lot more than Aang is. Like, she's more human to me because she's very hard headed. She's rad, and I think that's like a lot of people. A lot of people when they was teenagers were like that, and it's kind of weird that people hate that when a lot of y'all are like that now. Even even now, a lot of people are like that now. Mm-hmm. Like you're rash, you're you're you're, you're um you're, you're all these things, but then you fail to see where Cora's coming from. She her like her life is literally big, stuck with the White Lotus her entire life, training in the bendings, and that's it. She doesn't get to leave the Southern Water Tribe at all. She don't get to leave. She stays on that entire island. That's why going to Republic City was such a big thing for her because it's like, oh, I'm stuck in just the water nation, but now Republic City, I'm in a melting pot of different cultures. I can see the fire bending culture. I can see the water bending culture, the Earth Kingdom culture. And even if I'll go down south, I can see the Air Man and the Air, Air Temple. So, like, there's different aspects of the world she gets to see. And I think that's an aspect of her character that people fail to see that she, she's, a, she's, a trap, she's a trap child. Like, she's a child who's been coddled her whole life and that's why like the actions she make makes sense when you think of it as the views of someone who's been isolated from the world their entire life doesn't know doesn't even get like people talk about Aang didn't have a traditional like avatar like life he didn't either avatar supposed to travel around the world and like learn as they go about the world but she doesn't get the opportunity at all and I think that's one of the things that people uh, forget about Korra yeah, that was really I echo all those thoughts I think especially the point where you mentioned about not having a normal avatar journey Ang and Korra mm-hmm. they don't have a normal avatar journey and the thing is I would say Ang because of the airbender culture I would say he had more of a even though he was younger I'd say he, he had more emotional maturity compared to Korra who was just trapped in that facility where she did her training and then um you know just stayed because they basically imprisoned her because they were afraid of the red lotus assassinating her and because of that she as you mentioned engaged with a limited amount of people didn't really get to understand she's training in the different styles i mean bendings but she doesn't really understand what they are because they mentioned oh yeah you're really good at the physical side of bending and not the spiritual side but i think that's that's partly their fault too because if she went to the earth kingdom and she trained in earth bending there she would understand the culture why why the style is this way why they do things that way if she went to the fire nation and she did fire bending there she can understand the differences between their culture and the earthbending culture and then she can maybe she, she would even be able to you know see the spiritual side of things as well because she's intaking more things she's growing more mature she's learning how to adjust and adapt because that's part of being the avatar that's why it's four different elements they need to travel the world because to take a truly neutral position you need to have a good knowledge of the different cultures within the world but they only thought okay she needs to learn the four styles we'll stick her here and that's it and that 
emotionally stunted her. So we see her at, um, I think it's 16 or 17, when she goes to Republic City and she's naive with the world. And that left her, I guess, worse off when she started because, you know, you see her in the opening scene, they've got press conferences now. Like, she has to deal with the media. These are things that um, we didn't really get to see in The Last Airbender. And that's another testament to how the culture changed. But they didn't really set Korra up well, if I'm being honest. Yeah, and like, just the way Korra thinks about what the Avatar means to the world, it's hard because her whole identity is like, oh, I'm going to be the Avatar. I've got news for you. You need me, but I don't need you. I'm the Avatar. You are not, in fact, the Avatar. You are merely a half-baked avatar in training. Which reminds me, how is your airbending going? Made any significant progress with that? I didn't think so. You're gonna need me like they needed a. But when she goes in the real world, she realized, wait, they don't really need me. They've been doing mm -hmm. fine for the last 17 years without an avatar. They've been able to handle their own problems. And like when your whole identity and your whole life has been built up on like one single aspect of being the avatar and you realize wait they don't need me if they don't need me what am i like what what, what does it mean to be the avatar in, in this peaceful time now because I, I don't get to travel i don't get to four other people's worlds i did my bending already like what's left and the one aspect that i need to work on i'm bad at it and i don't want to do it so like where do i go from here it's tough man and I think that's what for me makes Korra so her journey so enjoyable because of that initial fixation on okay my whole identity um, is contingent on me being the avatar me helping the world I'm the avatar you gotta deal with it but I couldn't just sit by and do nothing it's my duty to help people see I'm the avatar I'm the avatar I'm the worst avatar ever. <laughs> Still think I'm a half-baked avatar? No, I mean go away. Back to Republic City. Get on with your life. What are you talking about? I'm not the avatar anymore. And as we see in basically most of the seasons is people challenging her, that identity of the avatar. We don't need the avatar, it's constant, constantly. And then that kind of, you know, crescendos in season three with Zaheer when he's the one who comes closest to killing her. And then she has to go away for an extended period of time, comes back in season four, and she sees that, you know, the world has adapted without her, even though she's still alive. And that that makes her, you know, journey of, you know, trauma, um, the, the stress, PTSD from that event, to kind of overcome that and um, I guess find her place again that makes it so rewarding because of you understand um, I guess how much the world has been fighting against her and how she's needed to adapt to the change in the times yeah like you mentioned it perfectly like especially in season 4 where like I think one thing she mentioned is that when I see like Bolin doing well Asami doing well and Mako all advancing and I feel like I'm being left behind and like the world the world is the world is like everything I had to do as Avatar which is like rebuilding the Earth Kingdom after the um the Queen has been murdered by Z uh, Zaheer he's got taken up taken care of by um Kovira like what do I have to do and it, it just, just hurts for Korra because like that's everything she wanted to be like that's why Korra and Aang are like two sides of the same coin where like Aang would have loved to live in Korra's time I don't have to do no war. I don't have to like fight anybody. I can, tr I, I can do what I, I, I can quote unquote do what I want. And like Korra would have loved Aang's time because like, oh, I just got, all I gotta do is just beat the Fire Lord. That's it. Oh, cool, cool, cool. That's all I got to do with no hands. That's, that's easy. Because at the end of the day, that's what um, Aang's journey was basically about. It wasn't about like being spiritually aware like that. It was like master four elements, master four elements. That's what it was. Like, that's what the main goal and like, and I want to talk to people who hate Korra and say like, okay, what do you think the Avatar should do? What do you, what do you want Korra to do in her in her series? You know what I mean? Like, what mm -hmm. is an Avatar and like, what does that mean? It's a, it's a good question because, you know, as we see, even because I haven't 
had the chance to read the Kiyoshi novels and um, mm-hmm. I've heard they're really good but you know I know that she's a very different avatar to Ang Angkor so that just shows yeah. how the identity of avatar is affected by I guess the state of the world at the time and the personality of the individual you know how they've the things that they interact because I remember we have that one Don from the Water Tribe who he was an unserious avatar he was chilling until Code Face Dealer came and you know killed his wife and that kind of changed yeah. things so you can see that avatar is kind of just a it's a title and what you what it means depends on the person who is that avatar yeah yeah and i think that interpretation is like what's so important about like the way cora and ang handle their different respective jobs yeah and yeah. um i think another thing about cora that i i enjoy is you know just the as i mentioned before the journey you know because we see cora when she first enters republic city naive hot-headed rash you know always willing to throw the fist first to season four where kuvira's invading zalfu and her first instance isn't to throw a fist but to have a dialogue to you know open communication and try and understand what the problem is and how can we resolve this issue and that shows the change in her mindset where she understands that as an avatar fighting is not always the way that i can go as an avatar i can go through different channels to help the world and even though she was unsuccessful in that instance i think that's a moment because you know i think they were brave with Korra because they had to lose a lot you know she lost yeah she lost against amon um she lost against unalok she lost against sahir and she lost against kuvira we didn't see ang lose that much and i think that's another reason why people hate on Korra but that makes me respect her because it's not easy picking yourself up after all those defeats and I know that Kuvira one that one stung the most because gone for a long time and then you're back and then Kuvira waxes you it's tight yeah and yeah and that's and it's so crazy because when people talk about Korra's losses they, 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 they always forget context to their losses like mm-hmm. the the Amon like like the Amon one was like it, it was a guy who could blood bend like, like like you can't stop like like, like nobody you put in front of him is stopping that man mm-hmm. <laughs> no one you put in front of him is stopping him and even the Unalak thing I I I, I joked about Unalak during our watch through but like he had that man beat the rights every single time only reason she lost was because uh he he escaped and he snuck her and mm-hmm. that's like hey that's how he that's how, that's how he he won. And Zaheer, the Zaheer, quote unquote, lost was when she was tied up. She, she, she was literally tied up because he said, okay, you want the Air Nomad? Well, I want Korra tied up and everything else. And, and then the second fight they had, he was poisoned and still giving that man to work. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Kavira, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, 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 she, like she don't lose no straight up fight. Like, people, like, the people who joke about Korra, she don't lose straight up fight. Like, th- there's no reason, there's no fight that she just, like, lost straight up. Nope. Yeah, yeah. Nah. It's funny too, cause like, yeah, go ahead. No, nah, I was just gonna say, cause especially that say here one, man said in season four that poison should have killed you, and you yeah. saw what she was doing. She was taking yeah. those mountains, bro. She was flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> people now play core, and I think people out there realize like, playing competition was garbage. Like, 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 like keep it up. Aang mm-hmm. comp was garbage. He was fighting Z- season one Zuko. General Zhao. Zhao. That's what I'm telling you. He, he's like, like you, you put them in court. He's hacking them, them boys up. He's hacking them boys up. You put Amon, Zaheer, uh, um, Unalak, Kuvira, and Aang. He is having a fight. He's fighting for his life every time. Mm-hmm. He's not surviving. He's not surviving. Those are crazy level, master level fighters, and, it, and it, it, it's crazy because e- even like I would probably say they're probably up there with Ozai got because like I don't know how you feel about uh, defenders and the Avatar. I had a whole discussion with Rex about it, but like, who you think like the strongest like like pure bender in Avatar last Airbender, not counting Aang? 
Uh, I'd probably say either Iro or Bumi. Cause he, I, I, I say, I say the top three was Ozai, Iro when he was in shape, and then Bumi. Like those three are like my top like old, old people. And then you could probably get into like uh, John, John, Azula, Katara, and everybody else. Yeah, yeah, but I like, agree oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, oh, like Ozai was Ozai, Ozai's a monster. Like I'm not giving Ozai no no credit. He was mm-hmm. giving a the word. Like <laughs> he's coming him, even though it was coming yeah. tight spot. He, he was coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. But think that he was the common heck. Ain't had fire been too, and he, he that's true. He couldn't do nothing. Like it, it, it was embarrassing. That man was balled up in a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Your old side said my grandfather killed. Me. Like, uh, start, started this up and end this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get that. You know that that do, do sex smacking of the the turtle. Oh, tax I hate that. No, it, it, it's a turtle hack. It's the whole like oh, I hit my back in the right spot to the wheel <laughs> reawaken. <laughs> But out of all spots though, it hit him right in the sweet spot. But it, it was cool yeah. though. It led to a cool scene. Yeah. But, but nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're definitely right with the the villains in Korra because I don't know how Ang is gonna deal with Amon. Just the blood bending. Yeah. Even Tarlo, because once once like um he got even got found out, he dealt with all those people in like a split second. He knocked them out instantly. So Yeah. What do you do? <laughs> yeah, but even Unalak. Unalak was a like water bending master. He, he seen his brother. He said, "Oh yeah, you want these ones? Let's get it." Oh, he watched them. He, 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 <laughs> it, it, it was bad. It was bad. He disgraced me. I like Tom work, but every time I watched that fit, he disgraced me. Unalak pammed him with ease. It wasn't even like it didn't even feel like he put effort into it. He was just like, "All right, yeah, yeah." Nah, that was bad. Yeah. Yeah, Unlock of the Water Bending Monster, man. That man was different. And Cole was giving the work without the Avatar stage. He was just giving the work straight up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Because I think the thing with um like some of these core villains, you see like you, Unlock, Water Bending Monster, and then you have Kuvira, who's an Earthbender. But in reality, she was kind of moving like an Airbender with the way she doesn't really, she does these small strikes um little movements and she's always focused on evasion and trying to trip the opponent up she doesn't do those big motions yeah 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 and that's what you could see in the evolution like the bidding styles like like you mentioned like Quivira was like a more like she was a, a she was an earthbender but in style she's more like an airbender she was weaving dodging and taking opportunities to strike like like man, that's, that's that's nasty with male mm-hmm. bending Listen. And then Zahira was like an airbending, like a, like a, a, a messiah, because he was just, he was just like like. But it, it's funny because like Zahira was strong until he like gets a real airbending master. And huh. with the tenses, so let, let me let me show you something. Let me show you something. Listen, I maintain, if they didn't have Plea in that ship, he could have held his own. She was she came in oh, touch yeah. with the sniping, bro. She was a good sniper. Because every time, like, even when it was three on one, he was kind of doing a thing, and then, like, he tried to do something, and she just went, pew, sniped him. I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. you're killing me, man. Yeah, C C Tenzin is my favorite, because that's when he, he would, because, like, Tenzin, you don't get to see Tenzin, like, fight that much, but when he sees it here, he was like, let me show you the difference between a beginner and a master. Mm, facts, man. That, that's, ooh, that episode, I think it's yeah. episode 11. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nasty, man. Nasty, man. I, but, I thought gonna kill him off, man. I thought gonna kill him off in that episode. This man said, um, what's it? As long as I breathe air, I'll keep fighting. I was like, whoa, we just saw what he did to <laughs> my girl <laughs> last year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah. All right. Um, before we, I guess we'll, um, before we wrap up this point, also, um, any final comments on Cora before we move on? Oh, uh, another thing about Korra is like her development is something that is underappreciated for like a lot of people. And I think this is best represented in season three, where like the guy dislocks his airbending and he's on top of the bridge, not understanding what to do. Like Korra calmly walks up to him, sits down, talks to him and say like, hey, how's your day been? And he says, uh, uh, I'm a day's been kind of crazy. I'm a, I woke up as an airbender, and like this is the same day Korra is basically getting blamed for like the spirit vines in mm-hmm. Republic City, so she's not having a good day either. And just seeing her sit down and talk to him and like understand what he's going through and be able to talk him down from that is a 
point of Cora's development where like you see that she's actually learning from her mistakes she's not trying to rush in all the time she's, she's actually trying to be avatar she wants to be yeah that's literally i was when i watched that scene i was just like how can people tell you Cora is the same character because i'm like i watched mm-hmm. that scene it's one of my favorite scenes because you see that is the perfect example of maturity in Cora. she can calmly speak to him and she's able to even talk him down without using force she gets him well like he, he trips so he has to save her but you see that she managed to calm him down and you know she's like okay we're gonna help get you some help we're gonna get you out of this a man is receptive to that but people think she's still the same you know off and puff character from season one it was just i'm just confused and baffled to be honest because that's a perfect example that goes against that point but it is what it is